Around 1500 BCE, a few years take her put. In the thriving land of Egypt ruled the mighty Hatshepsut. Yes, as the reigning pharaoh, proud and powerful she stood, and ruled with grace and competency like a pharaoh should. She maintained peace and prosperity, the noble Hatshepsut, and restored many a temple like the great precinct of Mut. She built grand monuments with her vizier named Senemut, such as Jezer Jezeru, destined tomb for Hatshepsut. She led great expeditions and established routes for trade, and voyaged to the land of Punt, which brought her added fame. For nearly two full decades, she governed with great success. In the history of pharaohs, she earned rank among the best. But years after she passed away, a blasphemy occurred, an act of sabotage most likely by Tutmos III. Her monuments were vandalized, her temples were defaced, and from the walls and the cartouches her name was erased. Tutmos III directed this most scandalous crusade, attempting to ensure Hatshepsut's memory would fade. Perhaps it was to take her credit or to hide the truth that women were as qualified to rule and she was proof. But he could not erase the legacy that she had left. Her many awesome feats ensured her memory was kept. And in the valley of the kings beneath the sand and soot, eventually they found the mummy of Queen Hatshepsut.